Very good game. Very, very good game. What a what an amazing way to like kind of tell the story. Like it I again I you know, like it it I, I I don't really know what the ending was from before, uh, because again, like I played it on PSP, but I got right to that final battle with Genesis, and I just for whatever reason never, never beat it for whatever reason. And like I said, I think it's because I did plan on going through some of the missions and just kind of like grinding it out and just becoming stronger. But we were able to take it down on level forty here. Um, because you're allowed to do like the like the normal and then the hard mode and stuff, I'm curious if this this did kind of seem a lot simpler, <laughs> a lot easier than the uh, than the PSP version. So um, maybe that's what it was. Maybe it, maybe it was just really really hard. Uh, but also playing on the console, I think, kind of helped me out a little bit. But overall, this was a very very fun game to play. The action adventure type, like. Uh, it is. It works really well. The DMW the is a, is a unique way to get like your uh, your limit end. breaks and everything. It looks I, phenomenal. I like I mean, it looks re <laughs> really good for a, a PSP game. Um, and I know it's not a PSP game. It was remastered for the next gen. But when we first started playing, it kind of looked like maybe they just bumped up the. Um, the PSP graphics, but no, as you, as you get into the game and you start seeing some of the cutscenes and the CGI, no, this was, this was very good. It was super fun to play. Um, I like the way the battle system plays out. If you like the new Final Fantasy VII, if you like Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, you'll probably like the, the battle system here too, because it, this was, uh, again, straight, straight out of the original, you know, kind of like a hack and slash type of arcade game, arcade beat em up, but, and that's kind of what, you know. That's to a certain extent. That's what Final Fantasy VII remake has has made Final Fantasy VII instead of the you know tactical strategy, uh, turn based. Sorry, not tactical strategy, turn based uh, JRPG that we become accustomed to up until then. Uh, but it it's a great story. It's got a great character. Uh, the whole Loveless background is a very great, very good juxtaposition. Like I, you know, so like we were going over at the end there, you got Genesis saying, "You've got Angeal in you, you've got Sephiroth in you." So the the three, the three members of Loveless have returned. But I, you know, like I, I don't know, you know. I mean, you have the hero in Sephiroth, but I mean, Zach, Zach is. Zack keeps, keeps his honor. He he solves the mystery that has become Soldier, and um, even though he's gonna fade into nothingness, he was he's the the hero of of Soldier. Uh, he's not the hero of of Cloud Story, you know. He's the beginning of Cloud Story, but uh, in the Final Fantasy universe, if you will, he he holds. As much prestige as Cloud, Sephiroth, Aerith, um, because he's the beginning. You know, he's the heart. He's he's the hero. <laughs> you know, now you've got now you've got Cloud. He's kind of like the prisoner, right? He, he's kind of a combination prisoner and hero, uh, where he's got Zack in him, and he, uh, you know, he wants to be the good man. He wants to be the good guy. He wants to do the right thing. But he's a prisoner to these thoughts that are not his, and uh, so you get a very unique kind of like storyline that continues from uh, from from version to version of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I, I'd be very surprised if they didn't do a um, uh, shoot a dirge of dirge of Cerber Cerberus uh, remake as well. Uh, I think they should. Uh, that one's more of like a third person shooter, if I remember correctly. I have never played that one before. Uh, but I would, I would absolutely grab it if uh, given the chance. Um, I believe it was on. I want to say it came out on the uh, PS2. Um, but it was like a, it's like a third-person uh, shooter, and you play as Vincent. Vincent is a Turk, and so that that actually brings into question because throughout this game, you kind of get the idea that the Turks are, uh, you know, kind of created after Soldier, but Vincent is a Turk and Vincent's been locked in the Shinra Manor for I mean at least <laughs> at least five years right because uh, we find him 
we find them in there when uh, when Zach goes down in the Shinra Manor, so uh, the Shinra Mansion in uh, in Nibelheim. So it, it's you know it, it it's got it's got a lot of deep deep characters and a big big literary vocabulary for a lack of a better term and so i i honestly think that if you're you know if you're gonna play final fantasy 7 you should play all of it and uh you know i uh, again i would love to play dirge of cerberus um i, I own uh advent children on blu-ray it's the sequel to final fantasy 7 uh, i'm curious to see if maybe they you know make a game out of that i doubt it but um but i mean Maybe they'll incorporate some of it into, uh, maybe they'll incorporate some of it into to remake, you know, depending on how far they go. Because one of the one of the bosses is, uh, well, he's from Dirge of Cerberus, um, but I think he makes an, a, a, another appearance in in Advent Children. So it'll be interesting to see how they carry out the story. Square Enix has a very very deep rich lore. Uh, with this with this game in, in itself uh, Final Fantasy overall but I mean this this is a very very good game <laughs> you know and I I had as much fun if not more fun playing this as I did Elden Ring or I have played uh, you know playing God of War and so if you if you're into like the original God of War the hack and slash type games, I think you dig this a lot, even if you're, you know, not a JRPG or a Final Fantasy fan. Uh, I, I think you can get into this, and you don't have to really know what's going on or who these characters are. I think, I think you could pick it up right away, and I think you would enjoy the story, even though you don't really know. You know, again, we don't really know what happens to Cisne. Uh, she doesn't tell us her real name, so we, you know, who knows? <laughs> Maybe they'll delve more into that in like Rebirth and stuff like that. Uh, I want to say, so Scarlet is like the the weapons manufacturer lady or something like that in Shinra, but there's a there's a blonde Turk that comes in uh, in Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I'm curious if maybe maybe Cisne redyes her hair, but I, I mean I, I feel like they would make mention to it. <laughs> and I can't think of her name, Elena, I think Elena, L E E E L E N A. Um, and so I'm curious to see how much uh, more backstory we get with some of these characters. You know, Song is a big part of the Turks in Final Fantasy. Uh, you've got Rude and Reno, who you see there at the at the end. They're not very, they're not really in this game, but they're definitely a big part of Final Fantasy. Uh, and then you've got, uh, you know, at the end of Final Fantasy VII Remake, you have that crazy the intermission uh, uh dlc you've got that crazy scene where you know, it looks like zach is returning to the church so uh maybe maybe zach fair will return and um we'll get to see more of his story it uh, it should be interesting i'm curious if maybe you know i just thought of this maybe maybe that it it actually uh <laughs> it's actually cloud Thinking that he's he's Zach and curious what to say to Her uh, to Aerith, but um, I mean I I doubt that that can be it because you know Cloud follow falls through the roof trying to get away from Shinra and that's uh, that's how uh, that's how he he gets introduced to Aerith. So uh, it, it should be very interesting. It's got me it's got me definitely hyped going forward. Um, but again, I, I don't think you need to be a Final Fantasy fan. I don't think you need to be a JRPG fan uh, to enjoy this game. I just think if you like, you know, hack and slash beat em up video games with a good story and a great, great, great soundtrack that looks good on the screen, I, I think I think you'll love this game. Um, I'm curious. I can't remember exactly how much it was. I want I want to say it was a full. Maybe I don't think it was a full seventy bucks. I think it was like I think it was like sixty, maybe fifty nine ninety nine. Uh, but if you if you can pick it up, I I highly recommend it. This was a very very fun game, and uh, I think uh, I think you guys would enjoy it too. So uh, two thumbs way up. It's got me excited for the future going forward, and um, I hope it does uh, for you as well. So uh, go pick it up. <laughs> If you uh, if you haven't yet, because I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it.